Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, man, you know this don't work without you guys. All right, I just got finished going on a five and a quarter mile walk in the rain with my wife. She's doing noon, and it's working really good for her. I mean, it's really working. She's been doing it for several months, and um, she's getting healthier, getting fit. You know, she used to do about 3,000 steps a day between, you know, going to work and everything else and walking around the house. But with this noon, she literally, it adds like 150 steps a day. We're over 16,000 a day. So that's where we just got 13,000 of them out of the way right now, and I'm headed to D.C. because I got them go back with the big ass box and get the covers. I, I made them just a little bit too tight so I had to shave a little bit off and so I'm going back to do that. But here's what's going to be, oh my goodness. You know, everybody loves their coaches. You know, and they think, that, they, you know, they think they're pretty good. Sometimes they may or may not be good. It may be a personality that you like but it doesn't mean that the person is the fit for everybody. Um, we kind of heard Dak last week talking about how, you know, everybody's getting on the same page and, you know, they're learning everything and things like that. And we know that the Dallas Cowboys, when you listen to anybody in the league, they say that the team is very simplistic. A woozy kind of threw shade at Chris Sharp. Now, I don't know what happened with Chris Sharp. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Chris Sharp looks like he's fallen off the face of the earth. And you got to wonder how they had such a great defense in Seattle. And then when he gets to Dallas, they just don't seem to have it. And you don't know if that's part of the dynamic of Rod Marnelli's philosophy, not melding with Chris Richard. Because I saw Chris Richard, you can look at the Dallas Cowboys defense and say that looked like the Seattle defense. Seattle's defense was in your face. You know, playing downhill, very, very aggressive. And I think part of that problem is is Rod Marnelli, you know, he's like me. When you get older, you get scared, you know. Things that you used to do when you were younger that you didn't worry about, now you're like, man, that cost me a life. I, I ain't doing that crazy stuff. And maybe that was part of it. But a woozy basically said, you know, our defense, pre-snap reads, basically we telegraphed exactly what we're going to do. And um, I know on the late night hype uh, show, shout out to Law Nation and Skywalker Steel and um, Big Game James, they had George Iloko on there and basically he was saying exactly the same thing. You know, everybody knows what we were going to do. And see, this is the problem in football that a lot of people don't seem to understand. Everybody just thinks that playing football is my man beats your man. Well, when you get onto the NFL level, you know, that, that works great in college. You know, if you're Texas or LSU and you've got better talent than the other team, you don't have to be that complex. You don't have to disguise things. You can basically say, I'm running the football right here. I dare you to stop it because my guys are bigger than your guys and we're going to knock the crap out of you. That's the way it is. NFL, it's a different story. You don't have those guys that can do that across the board. It'll work sometimes and other times it won't. And so with our defense being a fast twitch, we'll say defense, you know, fast twitches are usually like sprinters, okay? You have fast twitch muscles and slow twitch muscles. If you run track, they'll teach you that. I have fast twitch muscles, not anymore, but it used to be. Slow twist muscles are those guys that run distance. You know, I hated those guys. Those guys that go run five, six miles. I hated the long distance runners. But anyway, I digress. Fast twitch muscles, quick, boom, boom. That's what Rob Marnelli wanted on his defense. He didn't want the big guys that could end up, you know, holding and dropping an anchor. As Vosh would say, a trash can full of dirt. He wanted guys that were fast. Hey, we can run here, hey, hey. Yeah, which is great, but then teams know what you're doing, they know what stunt's coming, boom, we blow you off the line. So here is my takeaway from all this. You can say a lot of things about whatever this Dallas Cowboy team is going to be, but simplistic will not be one of them. We heard that Des Bryant had five routes. Five routes, that's it. That's Five routes is all they had for Des Bryant. 
And maybe the blame on Des Bryant is not all on Des Bryant. Maybe a lot of it is the team, again, was too simplistic. Why not take him from the outside and move him in the slot? You move players around. Think about what Larry Fitzgerald, as he got older, outside, moved into becoming one of the great slot receivers in the history of football. Here's where it's going to be great. Amari Cooper is one of those guys who can play any of the positions. He can move around. He can be in the slot. He can be on the outside. And apparently, C.D. Lamb is going to be as well. Because a lot of times, you have to look for matchups. You have to look against the guys that you're playing with. You know, uh, one guy might be a quicker guy who can make moves on a great guy. Another guy might be able to be more physical than another one. And so by being able to move guys around and interchange them, you are going to set confusion in their mind. Especially if you have basically, you know, we got a cornerback that's following this guy wherever, you know, you play him on the outside, play him in the slot. You move him around, man, that's going to wear out that cornerback. And then the same thing for our defense. If you are telegraphing what you're going to do, you're making it easy for the offense to call an audible and go where you're not. And this, my friends, is the difference of winning and losing close games. Understand the Dallas Cowboys, they weren't far away from being there. They just kept losing close games. They couldn't figure out how to win or how to have just a slight advantage. You know, you got a kicker that's not doing good. But if you can disguise things, if you can stop letting the opponent know what you're going to do, you're going to make it that much easier for your team. So, yeah, we definitely know now that there was a lot of dissension on the defensive side of the ball in that locker room with the coaching. I hope we get rave reviews from the new coaching staff as they go through and they put all this stuff in here. Man. How nice is it to talk about football, to know that our Cowboys out on the practice field. Mm. I can't wait till we kick this season off. I'm Mark Holmes. Well, the work never ends. And I'll see you guys. I'll, I'll be doing a video on, on this thing uh, once I go ahead and put it up in place. Um, and I got, I got something funny for I got something funny for you. For my walk, I, it's, it's going to be a laugh, okay? I'm putting myself out there for you guys to clown me, okay? You, you can clown me, okay? Because I can't carry a tune in the bucket, but I had fun with it.